we are replacing a burst section of hose. Then we start the ro hose roll halfway down from the length that is closer to the hydrant. It'll make rolling out the hose easier. Clamp is being applied. And the operator will be on the uh, on the side that opens and closes. And this side would be towards the fire. Our operator will be over there. The nozzle will be a little bit cracked to release pressure. We want the hose to be in the middle of the clamp, if at all possible, not to the sides. <clears throat> at least five feet from the coupling. So from here to here, do the knee press to release it, preferably on the female side or the male side. That'll work too. Push a little bit and then we'll release the pressure don't have our knees continuing to be on it. When we reconnect it, we will reconnect it with two lines of hose. <coughs> Normally this would be done with one operator. Hey, start extending it out. method, pressing on the male end, we've now connected two lines of those together, and we will charge in just a moment. Again, the most prudent thing we'd want to do in the beginning is to ask whether the water source will be shut off Nozzle is off. A little bit slow. And that is why we have two legs of coal for hose. Cleaning it off. There we go.